Hello and welcome back everyone. Good to see you all again. Today, Nikki and I, we're gonna hang out at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, and we want you guys to hang out with us. But before we begin, we publish theme park videos on this channel all the time. So hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. So I thought we were gonna start our day at Voodoo Donuts, but the line is out the door. <laughs> I'm not that hungry, I can wait. Are you sure? Yeah, I just like a glazed donut here. Right. But you've been partial to the, what, the Portland cream lately? Yes, those have been my favorite. And they have a new donut um, oh, for do. the holiday season. It's a like a, a Grinch donut, and it has the same type of cream that's in the Portland cream. Exactly. Yeah, so it's a bummer. Maybe we'll catch it on the way out. Okay, well, we didn't have any luck with the donuts yet. We'll try again this afternoon. But uh, the plan for today is not a big heavy plan, not too much to it. We want to go inside of Islands of Adventure. I had someone request that I do a review of Skull Island. And then we're going to walk around, look at some Christmas decorations. We know they have them up in Seuss Land. Take a peek at those. And then since we drove by the employee parking lot, I didn't see pieces of the Christmas tree in there. So that's a good hint that it could be already up in studios. So we'll take a walk over there, see if the tree's up. And we're very hopeful. This is what we call like pass holder season because all like kids should be in school So we shouldn't have a lot of like American vacationers, right Nikki? Right, exactly. So and it's like before the Thanksgiving holiday season where people will make vacations and come down Yes, so we're thinking this is pass holder season. Yes, the best time of year for us the best time exactly. of year Well, shortest lines exactly. in the least, least crowds. crowds. Yeah, exactly. So, we'll <laughs> test that out there though. Okay. And right off the bat, as we just get into the port of entry, before our adventure even begins, we see some Christmas decorations with the garland and some wreaths. So the decorations up front is pretty basic stuff. The really fun stuff is going to be when we get into Seuss Landing. I think so too. I love it in there. So while most of the Christmas decorations are pretty basic in the port of entry, Nikki, they do go all out to decorate the Christmas store for some reason. <laughs> you dork. <laughs> It's just funny how it works out that way, right, Nikki? That store's always decorated to the T for Christmas. <laughs> Behind every great man is a woman rolling her eyes. Here's a meet and greet I have never seen before. Puss in Boots and... Is that his mate? I have no idea who the other character is. I can't remember either. <laughs> it, it, that must be in one of the later movies. Let Let's... me Google it. I'll Google it. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, between me and Google, we know everything. I know Puss in Boots. I just don't know the other character. Let's check the big board for the wait times. The Hulk, 25 minutes. Dr. Doom, 5 minutes. Spider-Man, 5 minutes. Dude Right, 5 minutes. Jurassic Park Adventure, 5 minutes. Where's Kong, though? Goal Island is 10 minutes. Since we are by the incredible Hulk Nikki, let's just stop for a little gratuitous shot of our favorite roller coaster and remind everyone we are Team Back Row. Alrighty, guys. So they do decorate like the stores and the restaurants in Marvel Island for Christmas. Now, my favorite, I had like three favorites, Nikki. I call it the Wolverine store. Because <laughs> they don't really name the shops, so they just call them store, shop, you know, like they do in the comics. Right. Um, they have like trees and garland that's silver with like purple Christmas balls and like that copper kind of a uh, colored Christmas balls. Right. And my theory is, see if you like this, it's a silver Christmas tree in honor of the silver surfer. Right, right. Yeah, I get you. And then, of course, the purple is going to be the Incredible Hulk because he wears the purple pants. <laughs> and then that copper color, to me, that's uh, Iron Man. Yeah. I know his suit's like red, but his like face mask or whatever, that's kind of like copper color. I like it. It works. Yep. And then the, my next favorite is the Spider-Man shop. It's all red and blue in honor of Superman for some reason. Because no. Superman wears red and blue. No, no, <laughs> Spider-Man. I'm just kidding. Of course, I know it's Spider-Man wearing his red and blue costume. <laughs> uh, so I always like that one. And then I really like, as far as the diner goes, Nikki, a restaurant, yeah. the Captain American Diner. Sure. His Christmas trees are awesome. Yes, because he's got the star. Exactly, they're like blue Christmas trees and they got like some red balls and stuff, Christmas yeah. balls, but they have the silver star. 
Exactly. That is what puts it over the top as far <laughs> as like theming for Captain America. Yeah, I like it's just it's great for color blocking um, mm -hmm. for each of the superheroes in their store. It's right. awesome. I like it. So they really don't put like decorations out like on the facades of the buildings. Right. But if you go inside, you'll see Christmas trees and garlands. It's kind of themed uh, to superhero stuff. Yep. Love it. And just like Marvel Island, when you come into the Toon Lagoon area, the shops and the restaurants are going to be decorated for Christmas. We have a couple favorites. First of all, we have the Betty Boop Shop. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I love the flowers and the pink and silver. Yes, yeah, very like girly, very pretty. It is. It's very girly. As we're making our way through Toon Lagoon, I got to ask, how are you feeling about like Blue Rose Barges today? No, no, <laughs> not at all. With my hair done, no way, dude. Yeah, I like to mess with you. I was just kidding. Okay guys, so we have made it into Skull Island and the reason why I'm covering this today is because when one of you guys filled out your request to receive my welcome letter, there's a little column in there where you can suggest a video and the video suggestion from this person was to do a review of Skull Island and even though it's not like a big island, we're still going to do a little quick review. As we make our way out of the jungle into Skull Island, we've got some snacks here. Oh yes. Now here at the mess tent, I mean, you can get like this Kong dog. This dog, this hot dog is one third pounds. Wow. And it comes on a pretzel bun. Awesome. Some other items you can get here at the mess tent is gonna be um, some donuts, some churros. They have this big pretzel. What's this called? It's a Bavarian pretzel? Exactly, that's what it's called. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. <laughs> the big selling point for this mess tent, I think, is the banana slushy. I think so too. Why would they have a need for a banana slushy here? Hmm, let me think. It's as if there's a big giant oh, ape in the area that right. they're trying to appease with this banana slushy. Hey, you stole my line. <laughs> that's, I what I, <laughs> that's what I do. You're so sick too. <laughs> and you stole my line. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for Rick's ride review of Kong Skull Island. So as we walk up through the queue, I think there's two main areas of interest. Mm -hmm. Actually, maybe three. The first one's gonna be like um, where the little witch is, the old native. Right. And she's casting her spells or whatever she's doing. Right. That's pretty dramatic. Yeah. And they have a lot of switchbacks there. Yeah, they do. That way, if there's a large crowd, they kind of have a little show to entertain them while they're waiting. And as we go through the tunnel, there is a scare actor yes. that often gets you. They didn't get you today. No, no, they got us, like the people in front of us. Yeah, the group ahead of us. <laughs> but a little bit of a, you know, Halloween Horror Nights that's here year round. Yeah. A little scare actor, exactly. a little like native that jumps out at you. Yep. And scares you. Yep. And then the last part of the queue is where they have like, right before you get on the, um, the bus. Yes. There's that little, you know, the little Wormy creatures and the thing. worms and stuff there. <laughs> Honestly though, in terms of queues here at IOA, it's one of the best. Yeah. I mean, they went all out on it. It's one of my favorites, definitely. And I really, really enjoy this ride. Yeah, and it's mainly indoors, so it's cool. Yeah, it is. And then when you <laughs> like go nice. into the cave area for that part, portion of the ride, it's really cool because they blow air at you and things like that. So right. yeah, I enjoy this one a lot. Yeah, and now we didn't like it as much when we first rode it. But I think over time, we've grown to like it more and more. Yeah, yeah, and it definitely beats what we call Disco Kong over at the Slow and the Curious right. <laughs> on the other side, which seems right. like it's almost like on the same type of track, but short. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but we really do enjoy this one. This one's a really good one to hit up. Now, as far as the ride itself, it's very fun. It's yeah. almost a water ride. Yeah, there's... With, a with the amount of bug guts and, and dino slobber. slobber this could be like a water ride. Yeah, it's definitely, I'm always. Yeah, like actually, it. like right now, I have like water all over my sunglasses. So I'm just seeing like dots of water. <laughs> are you really? Yeah. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but it's pretty cool. Like the yeah. projection stuff is cool. And you get enough of a thrill with the bouncing of the bus. Yeah. So I, I like it's a pretty cool ride. And of course, here's a Rick's Tricks for you. Now, after you like get done with the screen portion of it and you get to the big Kong, the big animatronic, yep. you don't need your, uh, your little goggles on anymore. So take those off and you can enjoy that big animatronic a little more. Yeah. Because I mean, you can see it with your own eyes unfiltered. <laughs> with your own eyes. I mean, because that animatronic is VA. <laughs> With the, 
Now with Rick's ride review done, there's only one more thing to show you guys here in Skull Island. Yeah, and honestly, the placement of Skull Island I thought was genius too, because right. there's the dinosaurs, yeah, there's dinosaurs in the ride, in this ride, and then as you're walking out of Skull Island, you go into Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Yeah. And even the background of the jungle area lends itself from a nice seamless blend. Right. So, you know, unlike Two Lagoon where you, you know, there's a definite cut and then you're into Skull right, Island. Right, right. It's a good here, transition. It's a really yeah. awesome transition. Right. So, you know, it just goes seamlessly. I thought it was great. And I just had an idea. Just as we were sitting here, you know they're going to build that new Jurassic Park roller coaster, Nikki. Yeah. I wouldn't mind if a portion of it started like indoors uh -huh. and they showed some like dinos like this. Yeah, that would be like really in this ride. Yeah. yeah. I That'd like be cool it. if you started out real slow as a dark ride and then it went to a real thrill roller coaster because we want those. Yeah. We want thrill roller coasters. Yeah. But if the start and the ending had a little bit of screen action with some dinos like that, that wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed that part of it. So, or. Yeah. So let's go ahead and show you now <laughs> the little store kiosk they have here. Tiny. Yeah, tiny, tiny. It's not Kong like at all. No. <laughs> so here it is. Here's your Kong shop. This little kiosk, this base camp provisions. This is where you're gonna get your Kong merchandise. So we have a Kong hoodie for how much, Nikki? 49. 49.95. I'm gonna round that up to 50 bucks, honey. All right, <laughs> for 50 bucks. A Kong t-shirt. What's the price on this? 22. Nikki does all the pricing because my eyes are bad. I cannot see these pricing. <laughs> And winning the day for me at the base camp provisions hut, Nikki, is this cute little Kong plush toy. Yes, for $25. Our, $25, our dog Winnie would love it. And for $19, you can have this little smaller version. Actually, I think my dog Winnie would prefer this one to the big one. And while Kong is the star of the show, there are dinos in this ride. So, for $22, a plush dino. Winnie would like this as well. You ever notice, Nikki, when we're looking at merchandise and we're thinking about buying stuff or stuff that we would like to buy, it's always about the dog and not the kids. <laughs> She's our baby. She's our fur baby. Yeah, the kids can take care of themselves now. Exactly. They're older now. They don't have the same appreciation for toys as Winnie does. Yeah. As we're strolling through Jurassic Park, you weren't with me the day I did the ride rumors about the uh, roller coasters that's going to come here. What do you think about that? I'm very excited. I'm always pumped for a new roller coaster to come in. A big one, a thrill uh, one, yes, a fast one. Exactly. So, no, it's going to be great. I, we don't have a projection for it, do we? No, we don't have a date yet. But you know how they like to add stuff every couple years, or every year they like to add stuff. So, next year is going to be Harry Potter. So, it won't right. be next year. They haven't you know, broken that much ground on it. Right. Maybe... 2020, 2021? That'd be awesome. That'd be a guess for me. Yeah, I cannot wait. This vlog is taking a little longer than I thought. Yes. And now we have Christmas decorations up in Hogsmeade. How do you feel about that? I'm super excited. Let's go, let's go. Okay guys, we just made it out of Hogsmeade, checking out some of the Christmas decorations, some of the garland and the wreaths and such. It makes me so happy. <laughs> now, we're not going to do a detailed thing on this right now because we're coming back, what, uh, is it Friday night, Nikki? Yes. There's a special pass holder event. Yeah, so we're hoping that we get the new Christmas show, Two of the Castle, yeah. that we can show you guys. So we're going to do a more in-depth uh, Christmas reveal when we do that. We're yeah. going to record that for you guys. But as far as today, Nikki, there was a few things you want to highlight. Yeah, like all of the garland kind of matches the theming of the store yep. around it. So I thought it was really cool. Like the owl post had the owl feathers. It had feathers in it, yes. Yeah. And then Dogweed like, and Death Cab had like the berries. Mm -hmm. um, this and one little sporty shop had like a snitches in it. Yes, exactly. And then Glad Rags, again, matches Hermione's, you know, the ribbon in right. the garland, matches her dress. Yeah, they have something like that over in Diagon Alley. Yeah, it totally makes me happy. Right, so. I love this stuff. You know I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. And then so. like Honey Dukes had like, um, like looks like little like candy balls or something yes, in the garland, yeah, right? Yeah, like little sugar candies yeah. on the garland and the wreaths and stuff. So yeah, it was great. I love it. It's no. so beautiful. Even during the day. Yeah, Can't a, wait to see it at night. A good first look. We're gonna come back at night for that special pass holder event. Yes. Look a little closer at these things. And I also want to mention like the uh, construction update on the Harry Potter coaster. Right. Now we think because that one building where it's like the the big building I'm showing right now. We watch the films and we think we know what that is, don't we, Nikki? Yeah, yeah. We, we were talking about what building we thought it was, and um, we think it's the clock tower. Now, it's not in the books, but the clock tower is in um, the movie The Prisoner of Azkaban. I think that's the one. Yeah. Um, so it has a little courtyard with it, too, right? Yeah, and we'll put in clips of the movie right there. If we can. Maybe. Or pictures. Way to put me on the spot, Nikki. <gasps> no problem. I have no idea if I can do that. That's okay. Or we can do that or throw some pictures up. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what the we're The clock thinking. tower courtyard. Yes, 
exactly, and it leads down into the forest and possibly into well, the shack in the woods. The shack in the woods. <laughs> I think it's Hagrid's hut I still. I still think it is too. I mean, why can't they have both? And if we take a little closer look at it, we can see a part of the hut is damaged. It does look like it was purposefully right. structured like that it's way. Like it seemed to look like there was some damage in it. Like, I don't know what the ride or the story is going to be but i think that might be where the coaster goes through is through the damaged part of it yeah it'd be really cool so that'd be interesting to see how that works out how yeah. they're theming that but i do notice yeah. part of it's going to look like it's going to have some theme damage for whatever the storyline is going to be well nikki there's no doubt that christmas or grinchmas has hit seuss landing in full force let's take a step inside and check it out walking through seuss land at christmas time one of the best things we can do. It is. It's decked out all over the place. I mean, this area is so whimsical anyway. Yeah. And then to top it off with Christmas decorations, all the garland you're going to see, all the wreaths, all the Christmas trees, all the Christmas decorations. All the bright colors, too. It's super bright and yeah. it just pops here. This is, as far as visiting at Christmas time, even if you're not a big Seuss Landing fan, I don't like me, I don't really come here, I just walk through. <laughs> but to walk through at Christmas time, hey. I love to do that. Exactly, it's candy for the eyes. It is. And what's like one of your favorite things, Nikki? What's those trees called? Do you know the trees? The truffle trees or? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are they called? I'm not sure. Oh. But and they're really super cute with the garland that twists yeah. around. I think that's one of my favorite um, aspects, definitely. Yeah. Yes, because you mention that every time we walk by it at Christmas time, how much you like that. Yeah, I, that's the one thing Like I always seem to point out. I was like, hey, there's my favorite trees. Yeah. So most of the decorations that you're seeing right now, they're pretty standard. It's what we saw last year, yeah. except for what I'm about to show you right now. Oh, and it's gorgeous. I cannot wait yeah. to see it at night. At I mean, night. it's so bright during the yeah. day. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, so right? hopefully when we're here for the pass holder event, we'll get some of these nighttime images as well. Yeah. These are new for this year. These like these Christmas trees with these LED light balls on them. Yes. I want one for my front yard. I want one for inside my house and I want one for my backyard. <laughs> Can you put that on my Christmas list? It's on your list, baby. Yeah, these are so awesome. So this was a nice little find, a nice little new thing for this year. Yeah, I mean, and it really like helps you enter yeah, Seuss landing yeah. with like a big punch, you know? Yeah. It's great. So kudos for Universal for adding this new element for Christmas this year. I love it. Love it. You know, most vloggers say, you know, December they do Vlogmas. We do not do Vlogmas, do we? Nope. Rickmas. Rickmas. Rickmas on this channel, everybody. Yeah, so we might be adding more videos per week. I might try to, right now we're doing two videos a week. Yep. I think I'm going to add a third for the rest of the year. Yeah. The super secret side entrance was not open. It was a fail. And you know why? I mean, this is pass holder days. Exactly. Because it's not so crowded right now. Yeah. They only open it if the park gets kind of crowded. Yeah. So we truly are in pass holder days. <laughs> it's pass holder season. The tree is up. Looks like Rickmas is in full effect here at Universal Studios. It's beautiful as always. It's huge. It is very nice. One of my favorite things at Universal Studios oh. at Rickmas time. Yes, and I think it's in three sections, right? Is yeah. that the parts that we saw over yeah, at... Yeah, in the, uh, <laughs> the employee parking lot. Yeah. I think the park is all set up for Christmas now, Nikki. So what I'm going to do is, we'll just show the tree right now, and then I'm going to come back and do a full Rickmas vlog. Awesome. Including the parade, which will be next weekend. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys, as I find myself over here by the Coke Refreshment Center, it's time to do a Coke shout out. To those of you who have bought some coffee over the past few weeks, thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Well, the Coke machine is down, so I've got to be a little creative, but I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to Carrie and Jenna. Thanks for the coffee, guys. Next up, a thank you to Pam. Thanks for buying some coffee, Pam. And then we have Brittany. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, Brittany. For the person who answered our Instagram question first, Chelsea. Lastly, we have Pat and Allie, two of our longtime watchers. Thanks for buying some coffee, guys. I think that's it for today. A quick look at the Christmas decorations, the Rickmas decorations over at IOA. We just saw the tree here over at Universal Studios side. We're gonna do a separate video with all the decorations here. So make sure you have that bell notification icon clicked so you don't miss it. And with that being said, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks. And now it's time to relax. <laughs>